How's it going? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. It is your coach, Coach Ford, and I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Hope everybody's doing good. So, go live. Doing a recording today, and I'm just jumping on here, talking about the journey, talking about the direction that I'm going as an individual. I had a great coaching call with my therapist on uh, Friday, I believe it was Friday, one of these days, all the days just seemed to run together, it was a good call, it was, it was a good uh, experience, the thing that I recommend about getting a coach, I believe everybody should have a coach, I believe everybody should seek uh, a mentor of some sort, if you have some unresolved issues, uh, I think you need to get with a, uh, you should get with a uh, therapists and work through those issues. And so uh, the, the biggest thing today that I'm talking about is I'm getting ready to open uh, my kiosk here in August, which we're closed. We're a month away at this point. Exciting times uh, just landed. A uh, potential client of mine or one of my coaching, former coaching friends, she's no longer coaching, but uh, I'm going to help her out with some social media stuff. So I'm excited about that. There's a lot of exciting things going on. So about my vlog, my vlog is I turn the camera on and I have uh, conversations. I'm just talking uh, and just having open discussions with what is, you know, what's going on in the world of Coach Ford, building up practice uh, and working on developing what's up. Uh, so... Uh, what's going on there? So I, I'm recording, so I probably won't interact much in the chat. Uh, I got to figure out how to be able to do my live stream on on my phone to Instagram and Facebook. I got to figure out how to do these things. But anyway, so I'm creating content. I'm going to chop the content up. I have a huge vision, huge, I mean, humongous vision. Right, and I know, I know that's not proper English for some of these uh, high major English people or, or grammar police people, but uh, I have a lot of exciting things going on. One, the biggest thing is is my focus to, to serve and inspire. And so nailing down this concept of what it means to serve and inspire. So... Thank you. I appreciate that. So, you know, the biggest thing is working on uh, the context, working on the, the 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 blueprint and the action steps. I'm actually getting ready to work on an action book to go with my book that I wrote, uh, Just Do Your Job, Unlock the Potential Within. And so really the book is about taking action and challenging people to take action, challenging people to... Uh, become the greatest version of themselves possible. I think the, I think every day we have, I'm not going to say obligation, but I believe if we go with the focus to uh, serve and inspire others or go with the focus to improve what we're doing every single day for other people, not necessarily for ourselves, but how do I serve the people God has brought me here to serve? And, and that's really been my focus. And then being a, a high level a uh, high level person, high achiever, being a high achiever is tough because it never feels like it's enough. It never feels like you're accomplishing anything. It never feels like no matter what you put out in front of you, uh, that you're going to accomplish the thing. And, and it's a blessing uh, to be a high achiever. And then there's also some things that come with that. So the things that I do, I don't feel fulfilled in those terms of there's so much that I want to accomplish and, and being patient in the process. I think a lot of that is how to be patient. So if I could title this video or, or title this, this show, or this episode is how to be patient, how to establish some boundaries and parameters when you're going for a thing. So my content isn't the fun, uh, outgoing, quirky, going to make you laugh content, right? So I have no interest in doing that. Uh, but if if people find it funny, then that's great. But that's not what uh, the, the content, the content is designed to coach people. The content is designed to help people become the best version of themselves. And then help people 
then help people uh, take the right steps and, and tracking your wins. And, and so I talked about this in earlier videos and it's important to talk about it now is how do we, how do we uh, track those small wins? What are, what are the wins we're looking for, right? What, what are some areas that we can build? And I always think about this when I'm coaching basketball players to start small, to start small, build up from there, get your reps in. The biggest thing is getting reps in. And that's really important when it comes down to being patient and learning how to be patient and saying, okay, this is where I want to go. And, and this is the timeline of which, and timelines are arbitrary. I just want you to know that timelines can change. Timelines can be, uh, they don't have to be a, a fixed variable because nothing is fixed. We don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. We don't know what the next day is going to bring. So it's important that when we're doing our planning, and, and I think most of the time, uh, I, and I've been, a, I'm not going to say victim of this. I've been bad at not properly planning not being prepared for situations and, and mismanaging resources. And so a lot of my stressors is, would be eliminated if I do a better job of handling resources. And I think that's a lot of our problems. And what is the most valuable resource that we have, infinitely more value than anything, is time. And the time component of what are the things we're looking to accomplish, right? And so, you know, every Sunday I want to do a, a show and have it launched. And so, you know, when this recording's done, it's going to go up on YouTube and then be able to improve and get better and, and then working on my speech. So some of the things that I noticed in my, my discussions early is all tons, all tons of energy, right? Lots of energy focused on just getting the message out there and, and really challenging the status quo and challenging the things that, uh, the, the ideologies or pedagogies is what people call it, or the things that people consider to be like their ideals or their in their brains. It's like this, this can never happen. Or why do you want to go be a millionaire? Or why do you want to pursue things? And, and for me, my brain is wired differently. I have, I've had a lot of conversations with different people about how my brain is wired. And it's interesting that, we try normalizing our gifts. We try to normalize our gifts for other people so they can feel special about your gifts. And that's really not what you're supposed to do. You, you, when God gives you gifts, it's your job to cultivate. Now, sometimes it's important to just hire a coach and let the coach help you figure it out. Let the coach help you develop a game plan. So for me, I listen to tons of business people. I spend hours on YouTube studying. I spend time, tons of time researching, asking questions, developing prompts, uh, understanding what it is that these tools that are available to us, like Google, you know, chat, GPT, uh, AI, all those things are tools to help improve us and, and make us better. And so a couple of things that I notice is this phenomenon that, that is social media. And so I love when people get on social media and they, they have they, they got to give their opinions, right? Like I, I did a basketball video. And the guy's like, you can't even dribble with his left. And I'm like, I, I can dribble with my left, right? I, I promise you, I can go left. And so uh, it, those, to me, those questions is like, what do you hope to accomplish? Like, what what is your fulfillment? What is the things that you're hoping to get out of? And, and it's online. And so, you know, you just got to take it for what it is and, and, and chuckle and laugh and be like, okay. This is just social media, right? And so uh, I'm dope in real life. And so because I'm dope in real life, I'm on my business. And so yeah. that's what it is. But so that was the intro. Some topics that I have today uh, is understanding, understanding. So type in, a, type in the comment section some areas that you struggle with or questions that you may have for a life coach or just coaching or mentoring in general. Uh, you know, how to, so how to be patient. I talked about this, uh, building your wins, building your, uh, building your, 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 your layers, right? And so you got to build the first layer and you got to get some foundational things for, uh, your development and for your personal development. And it starts with like, what's your no star? What, what direction are you going into?
and it's interesting the time of this because my big bro texted uh texted me a, a, a quote pull it up here uh, okay so i'm not gonna be able to pull it up so the line was some people chase purpose and others some people chase purpose and other people and purpose chases other people. I thought that was a really profound thing. Uh, you know, I, I think that that that's interesting because it aligns with what it is that I do with the content, with my focus is every single day to get up and I serve and inspire people. You know, and, and one of the questions I was asked, how do you see this idea applying to your work with my my personal philosophy, which is to serve and inspire? And, and my purpose is to every single day to get up and, and serve and inspire people through community content, through my actions, by being a man of my word, saying, okay, these are things that I'm looking to accomplish. These are things that I will accomplish. And it's hard. Being a high achiever is hard. Being an entrepreneur is hard because there's so much that we want to do. There's so many things in the world that we want to tackle and we can't tackle everything at once. And it's important that we understand like, okay, what is, what is the distinct thing that we're looking to do? You know, what is the thing that we're looking to accomplish? What are the things that um, we can really get after? And so for me, creating content is, it's fairly easy. I mean, it's fairly easy, especially because I, I got a lot of emotion, right? I'm getting ready to open a store kiosk uh, next month. I'm going to be selling some products, which is going to be fun. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I think that's cool. Okay. So I try keeping these shows pretty short. Uh, this one's going to be a short show. I think I'm going to be getting off here soon. Um, but I have a lot of exciting things coming up. Now, I don't want to talk about it too much on camera until uh, it's official. Uh, because I, I, I want to... I just... I want to get it done, right? It, it's one of those things that... I want to get it done. I, I want to tackle it. I want to. I really want to challenge uh, the, the status quo, and, and you know, get things aligned. I think that's the biggest thing. Is what I've learned is alignment and and getting to the things that are important. And so, uh, anyways, so I wanted to get some content so I could chop it up. Um, but I'm, I'm going to jump off here. I got some things on my mind that I want to go work on. So, have a good day.